Today on the channel, we're going to take a look at my vintage Rockman equipment. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at my vintage Rockman equipment. This stuff is from the 80s and Tom Schultz, who designed this, was also the mastermind behind the band Boston. This is fantastic equipment. You heard it on Boston's Third Stage album and every album since. And famous bands like Def Leppard use the Rockman to record Hysteria and also um, Adrenalize. A lot, a lot of bands use the Rockman. I'm going to run this th through Pro Tools today and I'm going to I'm going to show you how this sounds. I've got my Rockman and I've got a Stereo Echo. These are the two Rockman devices that I currently own. Uh it was kind of tricky to get this thing all ran together because there's not an output for this other than a headphone out, so I had to dig through all my cables. Thank God for Radio Shack. I mean, does anybody miss Radio Shack back in the days when you could go to Radio Shack and get cables? You could just get anything, and I've I've held on to all my cables. <laughs> and here's here's my assortment of stuff I've been digging through trying to find the right cables to connect this. But I finally got it. It's a little noisy, but I got it. I'm running into this focus right, just a two-channel focus right, into my Pro Tools. There's my ring light. Looks like a UFO on my screen. So uh, for those of you that want to see what my studio looks like, I've got Kramer staring at me here as I work. Um, but anyway, back to this, uh, back to this Rockman. This Rockman, um, let's take a look at the other side. I'm going to set this up so it's stable and, and, and the camera will focus on it. So let me, let me set this up so we can look at it closer. Okay, so I've got the Rockman uh, plugged into the Echo because you want the uh, effect, you want the distortion and all that stuff first and you want your Echoes last. So I've got both units on. I love how these things blink. It looks like NORAD or some kind of cold war era nasa stuff the blue and the black is cool too but as we get closer to this rockman this is my stereo cable that i've got running out that goes to the back of my echo unit because it plugs in stereo back there so i needed a cable that would convert over to quarter inch so i got this rca stereo cable that's running uh quarter inch adapters to rca into the back of the the echo unit because the echo unit is just standard uh you know quarter inch instrument cable inputs this thing has seen better days this head headphone input doesn't work the greatest it's been used a million times so it's kind of wiggly so this one works pretty good and the guitar keyboard input is the only input that works on this thing this one is kind of not working and as you can see there's uh there's a volume setting the on off switch and you've got echo off and cor uh, <clears throat> excuse me chorus off tom schultz only had one echo and one chorus setting on this because he figured that was the ideal setting for what he was recording with and that's what you got it's very nice uh, and then you've got your clean one and two sounds you've got edge and then you've got distortion we'll test those out as well this is a really interesting uh, setup here on this echo unit. If you look over here on this, this panel right here, you can set the signal left and right, the levels that you want the echo to, to transmit. But if you see on that black panel, I've got it set in the middle. So when you record with it, you can have your main signal far over to one side and the echo on the other, or balanced out even, where your main goes right and left, and the and the echo goes right and left, or you can just have your main sound right in the center and your echo in stereo. And then in that middle panel there, you've got your feedback and you've got your echo time. And it goes up to like 500 milliseconds. And then your input gain and clipping. All right, here's the front panel view again. I'm gonna get to playing this thing now. I'm just gonna run this through my, uh, this is my homemade uh, Les Paul Custom that many of you see me, uh, I've made on the channel. But this thing sounds great, and I'm just gonna show you, you know, homemade guitar, 
and uh, we're going to run this, run the Rockman into Pro Tools. It might get a little scratchy from time to time because remember this stuff is over 40 years old. It's it's going on 40, close to it. So it's got a little bit of uh, grit in the controls. So with a little bit of luck, we'll get a really nice demo out of this, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. So let's check it out. All right, everybody, this is the best I could do for now. I've got the uh, Rockman stacked up on this little box. I've got it taped down with uh, with blue painter's tape to keep the blue theme going on with the Rockman color scheme. But I wanted uh, to be able to show the settings on the Rockman and the delay. So right now I've got it set on clean one, or no, clean two. And I've got the... Uh, the chorus and the echo engaged okay when we're on full volume so keep in mind I'm not running anything through Pro Tools other than the stereo delay and the Rockman on clean 2 I've got the uh, level on the, the delay set at about 10 here negative 10 I guess that would be and I've got the delay setting in the middle where we've got the echo and the main signal going stereo okay We've got the milliseconds up here and the feedback set right about 38%, okay? So with headphones on, it might sound the best. So let's check it out. I'm gonna give you the uh, bridge pickup on this Les Paul. pick up totally sounds like Amanda middle setting between both pickups Now as I go farther in this video with the distortion, I'm going to mess around with the delay settings a little bit, but we're going to leave it the same for now. All right, here is echo off. So now we've just got the echo. This has a little bit of echo in it. We've got the echo going on with this thing, so. So it's got the chorus effect. Bridge pickup. Okay, let's turn the chorus off. So now that's just plain Rockman signal, clean to with some delay. That's the middle setting, both pickups. in the middle where we have echo and chorus both okay hopefully this thing won't die on me a little bit of signal loss there tap it a little bit <laughs> give it some love thing is old you gotta remember. All right, let's go to clean number one, okay? I like clean number two better already. Check that out. Clean one has more of a, a rounder, fuller sound. back to clean one it's nice though all right now let's go to the uh, edge setting all right so this is edge
We'll take the echo off. Or we take the chorus off. It looks like. Took the echo off. Now the echo's off. That sounds really good. Let's blend it back together again with the echo in the chorus. I'm going to take the echo off again. It's kind of hard to differentiate because I've got this delay going on in the bottom, right? All right, let's go full gain to the max, okay? It is what you what it is, man. You don't have any gain settings. It's either clean two, clean one, edge, or gain. So that's full distortion on the the uh, Rockman. echo level down just a little bit, okay? Just a little bit here on the echo. Now bring it back up. Bring it up a little bit higher than what it was. Cool, I'm gonna bring the feedback down just a little bit to show you what that looks like or sounds like. Delay down a little bit here is the echo time. Bring it down to about looks like it's 150 and 250. So the left side is up here and the right side is down here. So that makes it stereo, right? I love it here, like higher up near 300 and 500. So check this out. I'm gonna go echo this side, main this side. So if you've got headphones on, you should be able to hear a difference. back up in the middle. Now I'm going to bring it up to the top. Definitely sounds like Boston for sure. Now I'm gonna bring this clean two back again, okay? Now check this out. We're gonna do uh, like hysteria.
try that on clean uh, setting one. <laughs> Almost sounds like there's compression in there. I'm in the middle position on the Les Paul on that one. Here's the uh, neck pickup. Bridge pickup. Echo, stereo, and the main in the middle. Awesome. All right, so that concludes our video for today. I hope that you enjoyed the test that we did today between this old Rockman and the stereo echo unit. I'm totally impressed with these units. I've had them for a long time. I haven't played with them uh, in, in forever. And I'm really, really super impressed with how they sounded. Took a little while to get them connected together and the right cables, but it was worth it. Uh, I'm gonna do more videos in the future showcasing the sound of these uh, two units together. Probably some more Boston videos and some Def Leppard lessons uh, and uh, probably some recording with it too. Anyway, if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing, comment below, and as always, have a great day. Peace out. <laughs>